Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to part two of how to be a whole here with Professor Coca. Now, for those of you that didn't see part one, I'm not going to go over part one again. Please go watch part one so you can get the information that you need to understand in order to understand part two of how to be a whole in college. Being a whole is a complex skill that takes great multitasking and great concentration, but it is possible for anyone that is willing and whoever has it in them. Being a whole is not for everyone. If you know being a whole is not for you, don't be a whole. If you think you want to try being a whole, try it and you will very quickly realize if being a whole is for you or for not. But without further ado, let's get into the practical steps of holding. Step number one is don't get complacent. Don't get gassed. That's how I like to put it for my people in the end. The reason where a lot of holes go wrong is because they get excited. Okay, let's say like on this chart, you're dealing with four different people. That's cool. That's fun. It, this is very common amongst guys, especially, especially you guys. This is for you. Okay, you start dealing with four different people. Four, let me just say four women, for example. And instead of you to keep your mouth quiet and just do your hold them, you want to tell everybody that you're dealing with numerous women. Why? Why? Don't get complacent. Don't do stuff with girls on the same team. Don't do stuff with girls that are in the same friendship group. Don't do stuff with girls that affiliate close with each other. That doesn't make any sense. It's only going to be a matter of time before they start talking and realise that you're playing both sides. Forehand and backhand, that don't make sense. Ladies, let me tell you something. If you're linking two boys in the same friendship group and you think they're keeping it a secret, my darling, you are very wrong. If you are dealing with two guys in the same group, chances are that they both know and they're both consenting to you getting sent back and forth like a table tennis ball. Please, my darling, concentrate. You're not getting played, they're playing you. Unless you somehow make both of them catch feelings, but we're not going into that. Point two, which I've kind of briefly addressed already, is keep quiet. Keep quiet. As I said, too many people ruin things because you just talk too much. Who told you to open your mouth? You were successfully, you successfully had four partners, you successfully getting four different types of Eva, what's the right word I can use, intercourse in different ways. Why is the whole world going to know? This ain't Murray. This ain't Judge um, Jerry May Springer. I was going to say Judge Judy. This ain't Jerry Springer. Just keep your mouth quiet. Do your stuff. And that's it. Just keep quiet. Life would be so much simpler if so many guys just kept quiet. Don't tell too many people your business. Keep your business where business is done. Point number three is keep it consistent. Long story short, you just have to keep the same energy. If when first chatting to a girl, you're FaceTiming her every day, and then after you jeep, you stop FaceTiming her, of course she's going to know something is wrong. You're, you're effing up the base. You're effing up the connection. You've got to keep the same energy. So understand the energy that is required with whoever you're dealing with and keep it the same. If you know you can only commit to a FaceTime every three days, then do a FaceTime every three days. Don't do FaceTime every day one week, and then the next week you go, you go blank. That's, the, that's one of the biggest ways to raise concern because the energy ain't the same. So you've got to keep it consistent. And point number four is stay safe. All jokes aside now, when you're dealing with so many people, you've got to understand that you're dealing with people physically, mentally, spiritually. So you've got to, you've got to keep each other safe, you know. If you know you're having multiple partners, please strap up. Please get tested regularly. You don't want to be spreading anything. You don't want to be bringing in life that you didn't intend to bring in. You've got to stay safe, my people. You know? Yeah, I'm all for the jokes. I'm all for the fun. I'm all for the games. But understand that you're dealing with other people. You're dealing with under, other individuals. So just tread with caution. Hold tight, heady one. So yes, this is how to be a whole with Professor Coca. I hope you guys found great value in this. Um, handle these results with care and let me know if you have any questions and any queries down below and Professor Coco will try to address them sharply. We're making Hackney global. As I said, these results are worldwide from Hackney, Kansas to Hackney, London and to Hackney in Africa. If there's a Hackney in Africa, there probably is somewhere. Yes. Peace, love, bird game. We're making Hackney global. Coca out. Bird game.